Right, the Dutch Grand Prix weekend is done and dusted. There's no time to linger wondering what could have been for Mercedes in Zandvoort when we've got Monza on the horizon here at GP Fans. But we should have a little bit of reflection and look at the news this Monday morning after the weekend that was the Dutch Grand Prix. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko has revealed an agreement has been reached with Colton Herta to join Alpha Tauri next year. There is a caveat to the news, however, with the American needing the FIA to relax the super license rules to allow the Andretti Autosports IndyCar driver to switch codes. Should the move come off, it would make Hertz the first American driver in Formula One since Alexander Rossi in 2015. But the final hurdle remains as the Indy driver is unlikely to gain enough points in the final two races of the IndyCar series to secure a championship position that would give him enough super license points for Formula One. Discussions between Red Bull and the driver, though, have continued to develop, with the team hopeful the FIA will make a concession and relax their position. Astonishingly enough, all of the parties and teams involved, we found an agreement, said Marco. First, we have to get a definite answer from the FIA, and I think it should be by Monza. Monza, I would say. The deal with Herta being finalised would then allow Pierre Gasly to make the expected move to Alpine for 2023, but the two moves, according to Marco, certainly hinge on each other. Elsewhere, Scuderia team boss Mattia Benotto has promised to fix the latest pit lane mess the team found themselves in at the Dutch Grand Prix this weekend. Carlos Sainz had to bear the brunt of Ferrari's foul-ups, with the Spanish driver first finding his team unprepared for his opening pit stop of the race, with a left rear tyre arriving late to the party, leaving him stranded for over 12 seconds as he slipped down to sixth as a result. Then a unsafe release on his second stop handed the Spanish driver a five-second penalty. The Ferrari team principal admitted the situation was a mess during the race, while after it, Binotto said that the team weren't ready for what was a late call to pit signs. All these things need to be fixed. This is one of the easiest to be fixed. It happened, it should not have happened, said Binotto. I am pretty sure we can be stronger in the future. I am less concerned by that than by the speed of the car. Just a quick couple of news stories to finish off. Yuki Tsunoda has been handed a 10-place grid penalty for Monza next weekend for being reprimanded for a fifth time this season. And Lewis Hamilton has come out saying he is a thousand percent in his belief in the strategy team at Mercedes, despite his frustrations on Sunday's race, saying that the call made by the team wasn't necessarily an easy one. More on those stories on GPFans.com, GPFans Global on Twitter, Instagram and TikTok on social media.